try this. Let's try this. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> hello, hello. All right, welcome to the DIY Paint Network. All right, let me see again if this is going to work. I hope so. I hope so, y'all. I'm just going to go ahead, bring you down. All right, let's just go. We're just going to try this. I was trying to use, like I said, I always use something, and it's not wanting to play with me today. So, I've got this piece of board, all right, that I just, uh, I went into my garage, went into my husband's stash, and I found, I found some pieces that I could play with, all right? So, I'm just taking White Swan, which is probably my favorite white because it's just kind of creamy. It's a creamy, uh, it's not a stark white, it's just a white, a warm white is what I like to say nice okay and so I just no prepping of the board no nothing I just wiped the dust off now I should have sanded the edges a little bit and I did on the on another piece that I'm using okay sorry about the all the trouble y'all I don't I really don't know is this still not working I'm frozen again dang it this is unbelievable. No, no, I'm not. Yes, I am. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going, y'all. I think I'm okay. I don't know what I'm seeing on the computer. Oh, my word. I'm just not sure. Okay, I do see myself now. I'm just not sure why we cannot have normal internet here. I mean, I don't even live in the boondocks. You know, it's just, it's ridiculous. But, I hope you're having a great day. <laughs> um, so, again, my name is Joni. My page is Weathered Wings Art. And I would love for you to hop over there. I promise I don't always have this much trouble. But, so you see how smooth this paint goes on. It's really smooth. But you probably need a couple of coats just because it's white. I always use two coats of white. All right. So, let's just move on from there because I've got another piece that's dry, okay? So, again, if you're just hopping on, it was just a piece of plywood I took out of my husband's stash. I think, I mean, I'm pretty sure it was just leftovers. And then I've got this piece here. I'm a little worried, though, because I had, I'm going to be playing with these, uh, papers. Hey, Joyce. Hey, Barbara. Yes, I'm back. Hey, Lori. Hey, Joy. <laughs> I'm back. I'm not sure what's happening. Um, my internet's been wonky all day, but anyway. So, I've got these making powders, of, okay? I know y'all have heard of them. I'm probably the only one who has not used them yet, um, but I'm going to use, this is the one I think I want to use. And I'm going to do something a little different. I'm a little worried, though, because I was playing with it earlier. And I had it on my hands, and I picked this up. And, y'all, it really is highly pigmented because it just got all over my canvas. I mean, my wood. And I had to paint it again. So, it's really got, like, three coats on it. So, let me dry it just a little bit because we are going to be using a stencil and some embossing medium and the powder. feels a little, still a little damp, and I need to spray my stencil and, and lay it down on here, and I don't want it to lift up the paint, which I'm kind of afraid it's going to do. Okay, so while that is hopefully drying a little bit, I'll move this to the side, okay? I am going to take, I've thought about, because this is the stencil I want to use, um, my birds. I love birds. I love this stencil, and it just fit, happened to fit perfectly on this little piece of wood. So, I lucked out there. Um, and so, I thought about using all different colors, 
But since I've not used it before and I don't want just a hot mess, Jazz, Jazz, um, I'm just gonna take out, so I'm using embossing medium, okay? You can use, uh, what can you use? Joint compound, you can use uh, modeling paste, which is nice. There's several things on the market. You could use, uh, well, they don't make it anymore, but um, wood icing. So I'm just gonna take some out. Can y'all see this right here? I need to get to my page and, and see if y'all can see this. So I've got this little plastic um, sheet right here that I, I get these at the Dollar Tree. They're great for just mixing stuff, adding uh, paint. So I'm just gonna, I hope y'all can see it. I can't tell. All right, so I'll just put it right here. Um, so I'm just gonna dip some out and I'm gonna just go with one color of, just because I don't know how much this is gonna take, but you see what I'm saying? When I get used to it, I'm gonna come back and do it with a whole bunch of different colors. I think that would be really fun. But, so I'm gonna take this um, PCH, is the color, I think it's Pacific Coast Highway. Um, See how, so blue, so blue, so blue. All right, I'm gonna take a little spoon. Where are those little spoons I had? Sorry, sorry for all the noise. Okay, hey Tammy, hello, hello. Lindsay, I have a quick question. Is Big Top supposed to have chunks or like small white pieces in it? You know what, sometimes it does. I don't know why, but sometimes it does. Just stir it up real good. Um, yeah, I need to ask why that is. I remember someone saying it, but I can't remember now why. All right, so I'm just gonna rub, pour some of that out right there. It's It still works fine. I'm not sure what's going on with it. Um, I probably should just pour that in. So I'm just, look, I am just going to color my embossing medium. All right, let's just, I'm just gonna use it all. Here we go, let's just, let's just dig in here. <laughs> I'll move this over just a little bit where y'all can see it better. I hope you can see it. Maybe I should just put it right here. So it's like icing this stuff, okay? Um, and this feels really cold and damp. I have a feeling that it's uh, gonna be too wet, but let's just see. I don't have to spray the stencil, but I have such, I just have a lot better time luck with if I spray it. I'm trying to figure out how dark I want this to go. Um, let's see. Yes, Barbara, I, I think you can. This pretty much will just tint anything, so I don't know why you couldn't. And I'm gonna use it in a stencil, so if, um, does gesso harden up? I don't, honestly, I, I've only used gesso to kind of like prime a canvas. But what I'm wanting it to do is harden up. Um, and, and I'm kind of doing a raised stencil release relief, like, but I'm just doing it with color. Okay, do I like that or do I want it darker? Let's see. I only thought it used a little bit. Dang it, man. I'm just gonna go with this. Like I said, I've not done this, so I, <laughs> I, may need, I may need a little grace today, a little bit of grace. All right, here we go, let's just try this. I'm tempted to get um, this board, dry it and use it. Let me see, is it the same size? Yep, it's the same, no, not really, but it's okay. 
just because this does have a lot of paint on it. Let's just, here we go. I'm gonna just, one more time. Ooh, let me put the top on this where I, I don't look like a smurf up in here. If I get this all over me. <laughs> Gosh, and I do have some right there. This is dangerous for me in these kind of things. So I'm going to take, and yeah, I will have to. I'll have to make up some more. But isn't that pretty? Can y'all see that? Isn't that pretty? How it uh, just colors that. All right. Now I'm gonna use this to spray my uh, stencil down. It's called Easy Tack. I use it for lots of reasons. Um, let me spray it real quick into this trash can. Uh oh. Wait just a minute. Should have tested this before. I've never not had it to spray, but I've been using it a lot. So let me see here. Oh, there we go. Now you spray it upside down, okay, until it starts just spraying air. If any of you use it, okay. So, and it is best to use it outside because it's it's a little. It has a little um. It has a little smell to it. All right, so I'm taking it. I'm going to spray the back side of my stencil. I'm just going to do it over here over the trash can. Okay, probably didn't get enough, but that's okay. And I'm just hoping, hoping that it doesn't pull the paint up. Because like I said, I have a, quite a bit of paint on here. I'm just going to line it up like this. Wait, like this. Now, you don't have to do this. You can tape it, but this really helps you not get stuff, like, up under your stencil. Let's see. Is there any, um, trying to make sure I'm, questions covered. All right. So, let's just see now. So, I'm just literally going to tape this. And again, like I said, I think it'd be really cool to do a lot of different colors. And I may change my mind as I go. I, I do tend to do that. But let's just, let's just start with this first. So, what this stuff does is, you know, and joint compound, all that stuff like that, it, um, it hardens up. So, normally I do this, you know, and it's white. And then you can just paint it. But I, I got to thinking, what if we just could do it and it's just already colored? I think it would be really cool. I'm even going to do the little, the little limb that they're sitting on. And I'm trying to get it as, kind of as thick as I can, you know, as possible. So have any of you used this and what have you done with it? Let's see. I can't see any more comments. get to where I can see this. Okay. So I have, um, I have all this goodness on my website now. I just, I just got these powders added. So they are called making powders. I will get them into my shop. If you are local, I have, um, I have all of this in my shop in Pelham at Myrtle Jane's South. So let me know if you're local as well. And let me know if you're new to DIY. This paint, um, well, this isn't paint, but DIY products are all natural. And so 
They're so great for indoor use because I'm in Alabama where it's hot, it's humid, it's mosquito-y, it's natty, it's just got, I mean, you know, I love Alabama, but it, you just cannot do stuff like this outside. Flies and gnats love this stuff. They love it. And they love me. They eat me alive. They eat me alive. I just, mm, I don't know what it is. So, y'all, this is just like icing a cake. I'm just going to keep going on. And it's going to be fun to reveal it. There was something else I wanted to do, too. I was trying to think. Oh, yeah. Decoupage and a napkin I was doing something with, too. You love pool party? Oh, I do, too. That that may be my favorite color, but I just got to thinking, I don't... Blues probably was better for the birds. Um, I mean, not, not really, I don't guess. So, what have you done with it, Lindsay? I want, I can't, what I really want to do with it, I can't believe I hadn't done that yet, is put it in epoxy resin. Um, and see how it does with that. I'm going to make up just a little bit more. I don't want to dip my that much more. But this stuff is highly pigmented, like I was saying. And so, it's easy to get, like, see, I've got some again right there on the canvas. It's easy. Let's see if I can pick. Oops. Let's see if I can pick this up off the table. I used a lot last time I remember, so I'm just going to dump that in there. Oh, I dropped my top. Let's see what time it is. I've wasted a lot of time trying to get on here. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, so let's keep mixing. Oh, you dyed your cup. Oh, that's cool, Tammy. That's such a great idea. That is such a great idea. Did you just do it with water? You could do this with the stencil and not even mix it with the, um, I'll show y'all that too. You don't even have to mix this stuff and you could still uh, use it in the stencil. Now this blue's a little bit darker. Lovely. <laughs> Gosh. It is, it's just a little bit darker. I may have to go back and kind of blend this in. thinking I'm getting out of the camera. So it's just kind of thick. I am going to kind of go back over just to try to get at least some of this color mixed in. It's not that different, but I mean, I can tell. So 
So you can blend this too. You can blend these colors and it will be gorgeous. All right, so now that we've got it, let me just kind of make sure they're smooth though. I don't want them prickly looking, but I do want them kind of thick. But really, if it is the more texture, it probably look good. All right. Yeah, joint compound is probably the most economical thing. Oh, you are, Francis? Oh, awesome. I am in, um, oh, that's cool, Tammy. That's a good idea. Um, I am in, um, it's Myrtle Jane South, and it's just right down Highway 31. It's 2700 Pelham Parkway. Um, okay, so I'm going to lift it up. I'm excited. I'm nervous, but let's see. <laughs> let's see what it looks like. Oh, I love it. It. I love it. Happy dance. Happy dance. Now, the only thing, something looks messed up right there. Let me just see what it is. Let me look at the stencil. But look, look at it, y'all. I want to show, show you up close. See the texture? and Is that not cool? I just love it, and I love it just like this. You know, you don't have to do anything else to it unless, um, you know, you could do this on a canvas and frame it. I can also... Um, you know, do something around the edges here and get all the glitter off and probably have to paint it again. All right, so let's see here. This little bird right there, what's going on with it? Oh, the tail. The tail just need to, and I have no um, paper towels down here. But this little tail is just needs to be like that. Somehow I pulled it up. Is that it? I think that's it. Whew, my heart's beating because that was, <laughs> you know, I've never done it. So I didn't know, didn't know, didn't know. All right. So now, like I said, you would need to be careful. Wash your hands. Um, you know, make sure you don't have any of the uh, pigment on you. It's just really hard. It blows around like, um, well, not as bad as glitter, but, but see where I've got some on there. I'll just have to touch that up with paint. And let's see, do I have, what else do I have down here? I would love to, all right, let's, let's see what this looks like. I'm going to put, get golden ticket out. Um, me? Yes, Francis. I can't wait either. I'm so excited you were on here. It's, um, so it has a green roof. You can't, um, it has a big sign, and the sign's black, though. It's real tall, and it has a green roof. It's like a house with several rooms in it. So there's a lot of great vendors in there. Oh, shoot. That has something in it. All right, so I'm gonna stir the golden ticket. Now, you know what, I also, let me let me take this out, cause it's new. Where'd I do with it? Oh, this might work better on here. I don't know though, it's not, um, neither one of these are very, like, really, it's not a metallic paint. So let's just try this one first. This is the golden rule, and it's the new gilding paste, gilding wax. So if you just put it, okay, yeah, this works better. I did some um, plates the last week. I did some chargers from the Dollar Tree. And I think, you know what? It was because, now this isn't sealed and I'm not gonna seal. I may just um, touch that up. I'm just, I'm just gonna leave it. When this gets hard, I might possibly spray it 
uh, I may spray it with some spray acrylic or what did I do with that stuff? Oh shoot. It's not in here, but it's that spread the fix it. It's a fixative. Let me grab it. Cause that may be important. Hold on one second. whole time all right so this stuff right here I may spray it with this cuz I don't know yet I don't know I, I feel like I would use this only if I use the uh, powder by itself because this will kind of set ink and stuff like this and this kind of like what I consider this kind of being like a chalky you know and so it would this would set it and then I could seal it but again, I'm just kind of playing around here. I'm not sure what I'm doing. But I know I wanted some of this gold just right across there. So if you could do it kind of thick and it may uh, be like a frame. Oh, I almost went right down into the... You may also could use spackling. Um, I've tried several things before. Joint compound is probably my favorite from, you know, the, the, the hardwood stores. This stuff is just really, really creamy, this embossing medium, as well as um, the modeling paste as well. It's really creamy. So definitely, of course, if you don't like the gold, um, and you know what? You could also, I'll show you something else. I just always tend to love the gold. I don't, I'm just, I love it. I love, love, love it. But say you just wanted, um, you just wanted the same color, right? You could take your finger and dip it in this stuff and do the same thing. Do the same thing I'm doing and it will, um, you could mix it in your wax, but I don't even think you'd have to do that. You know what? You can mix it. You can mix these colors in your clear wax and go around and do this. But I don't, I honestly, I mean, it'll come off. You saw it comes off anyway. Even when I'm not wanting it to, it did. But wouldn't this be fun to have each bird a different color? <laughs> I think it'd be fun. Probably gonna get a splinter here in just a minute. So if I scream, cause I didn't file file sand this down good. Uh -oh. I don't want it just a straight, you know, line. I kind of like it like a little. Kind of more like, kind of, kind of a more of a, a distressed. If you can be distressed and use gold. All right. I absolutely adore this. All right. So let me just turn it around. Y'all are looking at it upside down. Let's just turn it around and. And again, see it's soft. So now it will take probably 24 hours or so to to harden up. Okay. Um, so we I will put this aside and bring it back out. And I don't even know, is there any oh, you know something else we could do. I don't know if I would do it with this. I may would do it if I used flowers. 
But I made these 3D butterflies um, the other day. And I probably wouldn't do it, um, I probably wouldn't do it quite like this, but a cute little one just kind of flying around might be cute. But also if you use some flowers, I think that would be cute and just have a little butterfly up at the top. Um, let's see, I might, God, well, I think today is called lightweight spackling. I think that's probably okay, Joyce. Lightweight spackling. It may harden um, a little bit. Uh, the texture may be a little more textury. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It may just be a little rougher, but I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. Okay, so I'm going to move this off to the side. I'm just, I'm probably going to stare at it a while because I'm like, well, I've not used the powder, so I'm just kind of in shock that they really are that nice. Oh, I'll just put it right here. Um, so, what, how much time do I have? My watch is not working. Okay. So, I actually am on time today. I can't believe it. But I wanted to show you, if you didn't want to use the spackling, let me put some of this up. Um, and grab... Here, I'll just grab this board because I was just dropping everything. Let's dry it, make sure. All right, so let's say for instance, here, I got another, I got another bird stencil. I like birds. <laughs> I like birds. Okay, so let's say for instance, Let's just do this little bird. He's cute, and it won't take long. Okay, so you did not want to use the modeling paste, and you only wanted to use the powder. So let's just take a little brush, a little stencil brush. Now, mm, you know what? I am going to spray it because it does help, but just a little. Just that around that right there. Ooh, that was all on my finger. I'm gonna put it right here just in case I wanna use it at some other point, it doesn't matter. This is just gonna be an example board, okay? And let's use a different color. Um, let's see here. Oh, here's that pool party we were talking about. Let's just use that. All right, so. I need something to wipe. I just need a sheet of paper. <laughs> Let's see here. Because when I dip my, here, I'll just use the lid. All right, so you can dip your lid, your, um, just gonna use the lid. And let's just see what it, but you can actually, actually use the stencil and just tap it in there. I would go a little at the time, but see how easy it would be to get it up under the stencil? That's why I like to spray it down. Let's just see. Oh, you know what? I'm going to try something. Let's just, um, can you mix these? <laughs> That's probably lighter over darker. Probably isn't going to work very well. Let's try, let's try the blue I had. I'm going to get some of this right off the table. Well, that's not it. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Um, that, what is wrong with my, it's not coming off. Maybe I'm just not doing enough. There we go. So look, look if you, if you blend it. Oh, 
Oh, oh. I love that. I love that. So I'm going to make it darker blue up top. Now, I don't think I, I don't want to kind of scooch it off because that would probably scooch it up under. Is that a word? That would probably get it up under the, um, up under the stencil. All right, so let's lift that and see what we got. Oh, look how cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to show you this up close, up close. Hey, hey, Nancy. All right, let's move some of this because, oh gosh, y'all. All right, I'm going to do this project again. Not today because I don't have time. <laughs> I'm going to use that long stencil and I'm not going to use, this way I can do a bunch of colors. Y'all look at that. Look how pretty that is how pretty the colors just just blend and that's that's just so much easier to me than painting how pretty is that so again that is the pool party on the bottom with the pch on the top um and they just blended very very well very pretty okay i'm gonna stick this on here one more time i'll do one more because i'm having fun okay let's <laughs> Um, I'm going to do this little fat bird. Okay. And let's do orange and yellow. I'm going to do right here. I don't want to cover him up. Okay. But see how I could use this same stencil and just go down and just kind of, you could start with one color and then add a different color as you go. Oh, okay. All right, so here I go. I'm going to I'm going to try the orange. This is called Orange You Glad. Let's see, is this the color I want to use? Yeah. So there's certain colors that don't play well y'all together. Um I do, Corey. I do sell it. Um thank you, Joy. Um Joyce loves it. Yay. Okay, so what I was going to say, there's certain colors. Now, try to remember this, okay? Now, I don't know if it would, if it affects these pigments, but it might. I know with paint it does, but okay. So, orange and blue, unless you want a brown, okay? Unless you want browns. Um, okay, I'm just going to use this. Let's just go with the orange. Orange, you glad. So, orange and blue don't play well together. Um, and I'm saying as far as mixing the colors. Now, and I'm not saying you can't paint something orange and blue, because of course you can. But, like, I'd like to do paint pours, and I know if I use those two colors, I'm going to get a, a just a brown mush. So, orange and blue, red and green. And orange and blue, you can think of... You can think of football teams, okay? So, like, Auburn makes brown. Christmas makes brown. And LSU makes brown. So, purple and yellow, orange and blue, and red and green. All right, so here's the orange. I'm going to kind of just kind of go, like, halfway like I did. All right. And now I'm actually going to use the darker yellow. Oh, this is fun. I didn't know I would like these, y'all, honestly. <laughs> okay. So, here's the yellow. Just actually just sticking mine in there. And this is the Van Gogh Go. The Van Gogh Go. It's kind of the golden yellow. And it is pretty dark. It's a pretty dark yellow. So I'm just going to kind of tap them in here. Now, 
And if you brush it, kind of brush away from the stencil. See what I mean? Like don't brush into the side. And kind of grab it around. Okay. And then, I know it's messy, but I would lightly blow it off. Um, okay. So, let's see what we got there. Oh, that, oh, so cute. Now, this is messy, y'all. It's messy, but, I, you know, it's honestly worth it. Is that pulling up? Where I got to put this? I've got such a mess here. Okay, is that? Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Look at that. Okay, what's your favorite? Look at that one. Okay, so that's the Aren't You Glad and the Van Gogh Go. Kind of mixed together. And then we got this little birdie. With the PCH and Pool Party. PCH and Pool Party. Ugh, I don't know which one I like best. Don't know. I don't know. Um, Valerie, I just used, um, I just, oh, it's not Valerie. I'm sorry. I know, I know you. <laughs> Valeria, is that how you pronounce it? That's so pretty. Um, no, I didn't use water or anything. I just put my stencil on there and dipped my brush in there in the powder and just patted it in the stencil. So I'm trying to figure out what other colors would look pretty. Um, I know I love them both too. Mm, mm -mm. Now we've got this, we've got this sparkle. I'm dying to know if this looks good with any color. Hmm. Okay, y'all, I gotta try it again. Where is it? I gotta do another one. I know I'm probably out of time. Okay, and I'm not going to try to spray it again. I'm just going to, but I got it. I want to try one of the ones that's glittery. There's one that's, um, okay. Just trying to, so let's try, uh, let's try this purple, which is called, Forgot what it's called, and I just tore the thing. It's called um, oh, I knew what it was. Vi uh, vi vi violaceous or something like that. Uh, do you need to spray with fixative? You know, Patty, I would, I would, I would spray with this right here. I sure would. I, I said that earlier that I didn't know if I was gonna spray it on the modeling paste stuff. The embossing medium, probably not, but this, yes. So, y'all, that's what I was talking about earlier when I said I would probably, if I just used powder and not the embossing medium, I would spray it with this first. This is, it protects pencils, pastels, chalk drawings, okay? It just keeps it from smudging, right? So, okay, let's just, um... Hey, Lynn. All right, so I'm gonna, let's just take it. I'm just getting it right out of the uh, little tub there. And I'm just pouncing down on there. Now you could mix it with water, absolutely. You just get a, you'd get a different look. You'd get like a watercolor look. And it would be a little diluted. I don't know why I dipped that in there. I got plenty right here. But I love this. This kind of looks like a pastel pencil. Oh, let me think here for a second. This one is this one is not as uh, doesn't seem to be as vibrant. As the others I don't it doesn't seem to come off as much I don't know if I I don't know it's interesting I don't know if I've got like glue stuck on the board but look that doesn't that one doesn't come off as much hmm very interesting
interesting. It's going to be light. So I'm rubbing this one a lot harder. Where's the other ones now? I didn't. I didn't rub hard at all. There is another purple that's darker, and there's a red that for some reason I missed when ordering. I don't, I honestly don't think they were up there because I don't know how I missed them because several people have missed those same two colors. All right, so I did want to see the, which one? This one. Let me see. Um, now, I really don't think this is going to come off as anything. Let's just... Yeah, the glitter, the glittery one is not, um, it doesn't stick too well. I think, I think that one would have to be added into something liquid. And we can try that, but let's see. Oh, well, since that didn't work, let me grab another color. Let's see. Let's do, let's do the pool party with that color. Okay. See how that one's just so much more, um, pigmented or something. Okay, so I should have blown it off a little bit. Still pretty. That violet is just, it's just a really, um, oh, I wanted to show you something with this. It's just a really pale color. It's beautiful though. It really is. Those two colors are pretty together too. Yeah, that pool party is something. Now, one other thing, I think, it seems like that one's going to have to have some water. I don't know what I have that I could add to it. Let me see if I can find something real quick, because these, I think, would be wet. But we can try it. Let's just try it. It's like a, it's just a sample board. I am, I'll blow it with my, um... See, look how you can just rub it and it just starts. But I'm going to blow it. Heat set it. Maybe this will heat set it. I've done this like with type uh, printer ink. Probably it's not gonna work, but let's just let's just see what we got here. So I'm gonna wet my uh, brush with just some water. I'm gonna stick it in this. Uh, this one's called New Year's. No, it's not. Silver lining. Silver lining. So this would be probably really good like on furniture, on a piece of furniture. Because it just covers it up. So I want to get something and wipe that off. But see, you tell it has a shimmer to it. See? But that would be something I would do more, like on a piece of furniture to highlight um, some edges or some corners or something. Or unless I just wanted to add it into some epoxy. All right. Any questions? Hey, Carol. All right. 
Oh, I was about to try to get back on the <laughs> a different camera. Oh, my word. Okay. Well, I thought I was going to be on time today, but of course, I, I always go over. My bad. But I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I inspired you to try something else. Again, if you hopped on late, this is what we did first. Okay. Um... We mixed the PCH pigment, okay, with the, um, let me show it to you up close. We mixed it with some embossing medium, okay, and we got that cool color. I'm trying not to touch the white. We got the cool color. We used um, a stencil, okay, so this has got the, um, See, it's got that modeling paste on there, the embossing medium, I should say. It's just an embossing medium. You can use joint compound. You can use um, modeling paste. Lots of things, lots of things. Um, and then, so we just put it on like that. And that's all I did. I mean, I just painted the board, stenciled it, did add some golden... Um, this, I did add a little bit of this around the edges, and that, that's it. I'm just going to let it dry just like that. One other thing I may possibly do is just put it all on the, on. see how the, um, see how you got the gold? Okay, I may just do the whole side in gold like that. So I may just do all of it in gold. But what I was going to show you real quick, and I forgot, let me show you real quick, real quick. If you didn't want the gold and you wanted to, um, like, look, I'm just going to put my finger in this blue that we use. And if you just wanted to do it in blue, I got every color on there in my, look, <laughs> I picked up purple. But you could do it like that around the edges in any of these colors that you wanted. Okay. Thanks. All right. All right, y'all. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day, and I will see you real soon. All right? Bye.